What's going on? Uh, yeah, like, recently I've been having this kind of, like, uh, this vision of when, uh, David was hiding in the cave, and, uh, it said that he met with a disgruntled of, uh, Israel, and they kind of made this rogue band, <laughs> uh, and they actually started, uh, attacking nations, uh, from this position, but it's like, sometimes it's like, you're doing freaking everything freaking right. You're going way out of your way. Someone asks you to bring a hundred foreskins, you bring them two hundred. But guess what? You're kneeling down to them, and a spear, a javelin goes clink into the wall behind you. You know what I'm saying? I mean, is that your fault? What more could you do to humble yourself? Uh, and, like, be like, come on, man, like, look, I'm not trying to me, man, why, uh, why, uh, every time I come around you, uh, I'm dodging spears, you know, uh, oh, that freaking, uh, it freaking sucks, man, uh, sometimes, it's like, uh, uh, it's, it, it's kind of like, almost like, it's an example of a freaking doo-doo test, and it's like, it's like, damn, I, I gotta do everything just like, short of you actually murdering me to prove that I'm not you know, trying, there, there's no ill will for me against you, it's like, uh, you know what I'm saying, I've jumped through all these hoops to prove that, well, there's no ill will, and regardless, I still got your back, but, uh, uh, I don't know, in such, in such <laughs> situations, it's good to put some distance between you and the, uh, freaking, uh, you know, the, uh, fucking attackers. It's just like, uh, alright, it's just my ego that is causing all my freaking, uh, uh, confrontation with people. But it's like, maybe... It's not my ego, but it's their ego that just keeps, like, chipping away, man. Trying to find a freaking a way in somehow to deflect and flip. See, a lot of people try to flip it on you, flip it on you, flip it on you, flip it on you. But in David's situation, he was doing the right thing. It was like, in a way... He had to walk this gray road that was like, he was being obedient, but in order to be obedient, he had to disobey a little bit or bend the rules. He wasn't breaking the law, but look, he was bending the rules because he had to, had no choice. Freaking, uh, it's like, uh. Uh, you know, that's the way this thing works. Like, all right, we look, it's like at a funeral. All right, I know David fit and show up here. Look, I want, look, you guys freaking get the extended clip AKs. You dudes, you dudes wait over here as a distraction. You let off a smoke bomb. And then when David runs this way, ba -ba -ba bam, you two dudes be waiting. And it's like, uh, <laughs> this is the type of stuff, man. Uh, freaking people kind of do, and it's like, yeah, your ego does cause you problems. It's when other people like it's like the fact that 
uh, you get offended, man. It, it, it's like literally sometimes you actually have to stand there and in a freaking javelin go boom, on the side of the wall, and you gotta be and you just gotta be still <laughs> and just suffer it uh, to prove like, look, uh, I'm not your enemy. It's like I'm still gonna tell you the truth, but it doesn't mean I'm your enemy. And if you, I can't stop you from hurling your javelins at me all the time and make me uh, have to jump <laughs> through so many hoops because uh, to prove that, like, look, I'm not out to get you. You know what I'm saying? It's like uh, uh, you, you don't touch God's anointed. You know what I'm saying? Even if they're in total fucking rebellion. <laughs> you just gotta like, uh, uh, don't, when they throw their, their javelin and it goes, ding, don't whip off your knife and freaking, and hit him in the throat. You know what I'm saying? Or take out one of their eyeballs. Because you could. It's like, I could, I could have killed your dick, but I want to eat. You know what I'm saying? It's one of those types of situations. It's like, this ain't necessary. Uh, and uh, it's escalating. And uh, it's without cause, but there is a cause. And it's just... Uh, I don't know. It's tough. It's tough. Uh, everywhere I've went for years, it's just like that. It's like... I'm trying to help, I'm trying to promote, I'm trying to, uh, concur, uh, I'm trying to, uh, like, construct, edify means to construct, sometimes to construct a better building, you might have to rip out some old bad materials, right, but, it, it, it <laughs> it's freaking tough, because everywhere I go, it's like, dink, 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 like, these things are just, it's coming from every, and, 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 and hey, these are supposed to be the people like, look, they're supposed to be like have a kindred kind of spirit goal. We're supposed to be one. It's like, uh, I realize it. It's like, uh, it's not other than Christ. Christ could fulfill all roles of the body of Christ in himself, but us. We are like, some of us are like, might be just this much of the finger or just one nostril of the nose. And should the axe, you know what I'm saying, boast itself against the man who wields it. Uh, so it's like, Satan's kingdom is divided, okay? Christ, his body shouldn't be, but... I don't know, there's times, I guess, where uh, I trip over my own feet, or I chew too fast, I bite my own cheek, or um, let me think of another one, you know, I keep itching, itching the same spot over and over and over again, it starts to bleed, you know, uh, I don't know, I see this going on here, it says, uh, uh, I hear there be many divisions amongst you. So there also must be heresies amongst you. You know? And that's the same Saul throwing his freaking javelin at David. 